Hi friends, this is Anna and Kelsey with Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff. And we are going to show you how to make this really cool exploding box card. If you've never made one of these before, keep in mind they are not as hard as they look. I made one of these a few years ago. I haven't made one of them since then, so I figured it was time. But I remember when I first tried it, I was, af I was afraid. I thought it was going to take hours. And they are not as hard as they look. So I'm going to show you here in just a minute how to make one. I do want to mention that when you see these cards, you, I, I don't know, I originally assumed that you could not fit it in an envelope. So I do want to show you this folds up and fits right into a regular envelope. It will be a little bit thick to mail, but as long as you don't put embellishments or anything, that should mail just fine. Yes, sweetheart? Can I help? Can you help? Absolutely. Yay. So I want to show you the bundles that I used on this set. My inspiration for our decorations were the sunflower, the leaf, and the pumpkin I made in my blends video a few weeks ago when I was using our Stampin' Blends alcohol markers, which are amazing, to color some really, really pretty and different shapes. So I colored all of these for that, and I thought they would make perfect decorations for this card for fall. So let's look at the bundles that I used. I used the Celebrate Sunflowers bundle, which is one of my absolute favorites. I use the Harvest Hellos. This one is in our annual catalog. It came out last year, so keep that in mind. So this one comes with the punch for the apple or the pumpkin. This one, the Sunflowers, is in our annual catalog. And actually, all three of these are in our annual catalog. None of these are in the holiday catalog. So the third one is Gather Together. This was a favorite from last year. So those are the products I used to decorate the card and the designer paper I used is from the Gilded Autumn set which is lovely and I've been having fun using it on my fall projects. So let me tell you what we need for this project. We need some cardstock that measures five and a half by nine inches and you are going to score this at two and one eighth inches, four and a quarter, six and three eighths, and eight and a half. Then you're going to turn it 90 degrees and score it two and a half. Now, if you are watching this on YouTube, if you check the video description, there should be a link to my website with all of these dimensions that you can go check that out. Here, we need two smaller strips that measure one inch by three and one eighth. And then you're going to score half an inch from this end and half an inch from this end. I've got adhesive on there already, ready to put that together. but. We are going to prepare this piece first. Before we get to that, let me finish our materials that we need. We need some cardstock pieces for the panels. So if you wanna put these panels on the bottom part of the card, you will need some cardstock that measures one and seven eighths inches by two and three quarter. You need four of those. For the top panels, you need four of these that measure one and, let me make sure I told you the right thing for this. Uh, these are one and seven eighths by two and three quarters. These are one and seven eighths by two and one quarter. Now our designer paper pieces, you need four of these again, are one and three quarters by two and five eighths. Mm -hmm. One and three quarters by two and one eighth. Now I will show you the back. I used one less of this designer paper piece for this reason, I put a piece of white on the back of the card to give a place to sign it. So you can replace one of your designer paper pieces with something plain if you want to write on the back. Yes, honey? Can I fold that because I know how? You want to fold it? Well, let me show them how to prepare it. Mm -hmm. Once you have your piece scored, this main piece scored, you need to fold on all of those score lines and get those loosened up which I have already done except for this one. Then we need to do some trimming. So if you turn the cardstock so that the shorter section is toward you, the longer section is up here at the top, we need to 
trim each of these score lines just to that horizontal line. And then this small piece at the end, we need to trim this out completely. Now we are going to put the panels on. So I've already prepared some of these. Me fold. You want to help? You want to fold? Yeah. Well, we are going to put the panels on first and then we'll fold it. Do you, you want to put these together for me? Yeah. Put some adhesive on the back of those designer papers. Yeah. Actually, I need that for a second. Okay, so I have my panels okay. prepared here. Let's do the ones at the bottom first. This is my seal plus, which I really like. We do this bigger one first. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which way you have this turn to start, but we will go ahead and put these larger panels down here at the bottom. The one with the white or the plain one, I put next to the little flap because that can be the back of our card. Okay, Kelsey prepared this other one for me. So get it stuck together. She graciously put adhesive on both pieces, so it is really going to stick. I'm going to have to get another seal here so that she and I don't have to share. Okay, so we'll put this one on. Now, once we have these on, we actually need to flip this whole piece over. And we're going to put these pieces up here at the top, but they need to be on the opposite side as the other ones. Okay, Kelsey got this one ready for me. We have adhesive overload here, but that's all right. We will make do with it. I made it really sticky. You did. Nice work. <laughs> so get adhesive on the backs of these. Something to keep in mind is if you have directional designer papers, you are going to want to pay attention to the way you attach these to the card because when you open it up, they will be facing different directions. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So put these on. And now I'll go ahead and show you. We are going to fold this together. Me fold? And I just put that on the wrong side. So here's a little trick, my friends. I don't want there to be adhesive on that piece right there. So we are going to cover that up with some scraps of cardstock. This will not show. And believe I need to put it over here. And the way I know it is, when I fold this up, I need the papers at the bottom to be on the outside and the papers at the top to be on the inside. So I need my adhesive on this side. I did that just so that you do not make the same mistake. So you are welcome. Do you want to fold that up, Kelsey, while yeah. I hold it? So if you fold, if you lay it flat and fold it up just like we just showed, you should get it lined up perfectly. You going to show them? So then fold those pieces out so they can see how it's going to look. And the inside. All right. So now we need to add our little support pieces to the inside. But what I wanted to show you is, let's see, this is going to be our back of our card. So this will be the front here. Keep in mind when you put these on, Here's your bottom, here's your top, here's your bottom, here's your top. So you may want to pay attention to this when you put your designer paper on 
if it's directional. It might be easiest if for these pieces you choose paper that is not directional, but you can definitely make it work if you want to use directional papers. Okay, so now we have our small strips of cardstock that we scored on each end and I put adhesive on. So these will go inside. I'm going to fold the little flaps backwards and we are going to insert these in here to be our support pieces for our decorations. So you want to try to get these straight. So we'll put one about there. Thank you. And one. You want to get them about a third. Divide the box into thirds. But if you don't, it's not really a big deal. Because chances are no one is ever going to look down in this card and see how these look. Okay. So we got those in. This one looks like it was a touch long because it's bending, but it should still work. So just to make sure everything is working properly, get those bent into place nicely. We'll press it flat and make sure it folds. You could move it both ways if you want. Make sure everything is working. So there's the base of it. Now you can decorate it however you want. So I will be decorating it with some more of these pretty pieces colored with my blends markers. And I have already put some tear and tape adhesive down here at the bottom of each one. You want to use some strong adhesive to make sure none of this is going to come apart. And I'm going to insert this down in because my sunflower is a little bit wider than I want it to be at the base. I'm going to have to encourage it to go down in where I want it. And something you may want to check is when you fold it flat, is this all going to stay inside of the boundaries of the card? Okay, so I think I'm going to be okay here. Hopefully I'm not wrong. I'm going to attach that gently just to make sure, and that is good. Comes out just a touch around the outside, but that is still going to fit in my envelope. So I'll give it a good press to get that stuck in place. Now we will add the leaf onto this next one and the pumpkin. Can I add the pumpkin? You want to add the pumpkin? Can you reach up this far? Can you press that in place? Got it? Okay. Nice work. So there we have our fun decorations, the pumpkin, the leaf, and the sunflower. Now I did create some greetings with that gather together stamp set. Here you can see on this one I used the one that just says gather together. On this one, that set has another one that says season of thanks. This one has some really nice greetings in it. So. I am going to put that right here, and our card is all done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a really fun, different kind of card to try if you've never made anything like this. You can get more ideas and inspiration on my blog at scrappingstampingandstuff.com. You can find links to shop for your products there, and we hope to see you again next time in another video, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Bye.